Hello guys, um, this is Jonathan's Denman and today guys I want to have a look at FriendOS and basically FriendOS is not a Linux distribution at all, it has nothing to do with Linux all it is is basically a um, operating system on the web which is hosted on a server so I got it open right over here, I need to log in though but um, you guys will be able to log in and sign up with a new account and upload your files onto that server so if you want to find out more, what I will do is leave in the down the comments uh, um, Wikipedia page about FriendOS. It is indeed open source. Um, so to access a website, um, we need to go to this web link. Um, basically, FriendOS is multi-user meta operating system based on the French core kernel. It is designed to be a complete operating system which involves an adaptive information and communication technologies. So yeah, basically, um, I will leave this down in the comments for in case when you guys want to go more in depth, because those of people like to do that. All right, let's have a look at Friend OS. So I'm here, right? Um, we can sign up or we can log in. In my case, I will log in. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna pause this video, and once I'm on the desktop, um, I will be showing you guys how to use it, and basically, it's having some fun with it. Basically, just trying it out. I'll be back very shortly. Hello guys, I am back and uh, basically um, this is what happens, we'll get greeted with this message, welcome to Sky Computer. So this is how we can get started, it has all these tabs that we can click on to, which I think is personally is very good. Um, I think they don't, I think they just use like online stuff. So this is like online Word document, online Excel, online PowerPoint, online Gmail. So I think these are like web applications that you guys can click on to. Um, this is a directory, obviously. How much storage do you get? I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I think it's only limited on a free version of it. Okay, so we can have some fun with this desktop environment. Let's try out Word and see how good this is. I think it is Microsoft Word. Is it need? Yes, it, no, it's not Microsoft Word, uh, is it? How do I find out if it is or not? Because it looks like com completely different. <laughs> I think it is Microsoft Word. I just didn't use that in a very long time. Um, so, no, they didn't have about. Okay, th it doesn't matter. So, for this part, we could just say hello world. And then from here, I think we can save it, right? I didn't use this in a very long time. Yeah, we can save it right here. And then we can save it as a document. So, we can call it like uh, linux.com or linux document. And then we can put this into documents. And then this is where we can put all files and save the file. Okay. So we can access it. Um, there's the notifications up here. We can upload some files. Uh, it's a very, very simple Linux document. See, it's successfully created it. We can access Gmail from here. Um, so if you want to check out our emails, then click over here. Um, let's close that up here. It's a bit slow. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that until it decides to close, I guess. Okay, I guess not. Okay, so this is system. So we can go about system and this will tell them more about it. More about Friend OS. Um, basically, this is a build date. This is a version. This is a build. So this is, tells you more about the developers. Um, so you guys can look through that if I wanted to. So this is a file. We can do whatever we want in this part, I guess. I don't know why it's not showing anything, though. Um, so this is a, bit, a bug. Um, so we're going to fight friends. I think this is like to fight friends to our desktop. I don't quite know how this works, but you guys can feel free to do that. So this is a tutorial tool, so this will show up around here and tell you more about it. So uh, it says, have we tried uploading a file? So uh, I see, yeah, from the next distribution, you can just do that. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, basically that is how to do things. Um, so you can go to my account and this will tell you uh, account details. I will pause this video because I just I've been not very smart here. Okay, guys. So it seems like I ran into a bug here because um it's not it's not this is not closing at all, and um we can't really ah oh, this is a kind of by the way, guys. What can we do here? Ah, I see. So what I'm gonna do is reload this page and see if that will solve the issue. I have to re-log in. I'll be back. Okay guys, so basically, um, I'm going to close out this because I know all about it. Okay, so um, we had Word opened. We're not going to try to Excel and PowerPoint because everyone knows what they are. And this is all for applications, I guess. 
to be able to click onto these you can make notes like you know notes basically I guess so if you want to create any notes then it should allow you to do that um, so this is how you can type down text I guess so yeah this system is very pretty much easy to use so um I personally never used this um, thing before so if you want to report a bug then go over here and this will show up a um, bugs we're on the github page for people to um, report some bugs and then they can fix this bugs um, if you wanted to do that if you wanted to and this is help um, this is used uh, manual so you want to have a look at the manual then just feel free to look over here so this tells you more about it friend OS okay that's pretty nice operating system um, so we learned how to create a new file didn't we um, so this will just open up to email friend mail friend conference uh, I think this is like a video chat sort of thing I'm not too sure what this is don't know if it's gonna pop up or something yeah I did pop up okay cool so this is friends conference so I think this is like a video chat sort of thing for meeting you to um, make a phone and camera so we can just block this we are not gonna worry about that at all so basically we can set up meetings if we wanted to but feel free to um, chat with your friends through this I'm on to just exit okay cool so basically this is a photo paper which I will not get into but this is a calculator app if you wanted to um, do something like what is 88 plus 1 I don't know is that 65 no it's 89 I was wrong okay guys so basically um, what does this button do so your task running so this is how you can end tasks and stuff like that and this is how to upload files I see um, so system file this is how we can do stuff within a file document. This is how we can report a bug. So there's not really much on this system in my honest opinion. It's just a basic operating system on for cloud that anyone can use. And I would expect um like well guys will be able to use it as much as you want, but uh, I would say this is for people that just wants to have a cloud computing experience and to always upload their files on for cloud. So that way if I've got college work to do I need to write down a document. Then this is a great um, way to do it because you know that it's going to be backed up to the cloud by using a cloud computer aid. so you can use background color if i wanted to and this will change it to a background color so you can save it see guys i don't quite know how to form for web so you can search up whatever you want unfinished feature will soon be able to pick images from the web so yeah guys um this is how we can do that um soon we'll, this is unfinished feature so i can't do this so some parts of it is still need to st is still a working progress but um i think we can add some images if i wanted to um if by going there and then we can get to downloads or documents new directory if i wanted to do that so yeah, guys is that basically um friend os so basically would I recommend a system yes I would and there's no installation needed you don't need to install onto your actual PC we don't need to install on a laptop anything like that all you do is go to friend um, friend OS website to sign up for an account and da -da, we've got an account we've got an operating system on the cloud so yeah it's a very good system and I don't know how much gigabytes of space you get on a free version now I don't know if it um if on for paid version you get um more features but I pretty much had a good experience with using friend OS and I would recommend this to somebody who wants to do word documents but they always want it to be backed up to the cloud and this is not for gaming this isn't for anything advanced like that for game development or it's not for well, it could be used on HTML coding but I wouldn't expect anyone to do coding with this system it's just for basic usage and for a basic user this would be perfect for them so yeah guys um this is my review on friend OS well guys we'll be able to um, have some fun of it if you wanted to I will leave the website down in the link below with as well as a Wikipedia page um, if you guys want to say anything about friend OS such as if you had any good experience of it then please say so in the comments I'd like to learn new frame no new frame new things um, so yeah this is friend OS which you guys can get for free what I want to find out now is um, because if we let me just search up something. So friends OS um free versus paid. Because I do think they have premium edition. Yeah, premium. So we can have a look at the difference between them, but I think we get more storage on for premium. 
No, 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 no. This is what I wanted. So, um, what was it again? Yeah, it would be free versus premium. Um, premium. No, I didn't mean Spotify. What is Spotify anyway? Okay, so friend OS. Um, free versus premium. So I think here uh, runs on the standard Ubuntu 18 plus server. So it runs on Ubuntu plus um, server. It seems like you can't find what we're looking for. It look at that. Look at features now. So this is a feature. So it has a friend workspace. Um, it has office tools. We had a look at that. It has communication tools. We had a look at that. And X customs customized experience. We had a look at that. So yeah, we can run this on a mobile phone. As you guys can see, we can run this on a tablet and so on. Um, this is developers, people behind it, about us. I don't know if they do have a premium version now, which allows you to have more storage. But um, I do pretty much know that um, it is free, except except their terms and license. We can contact them if I have any issues, or we just want to send them a high message. If we just send them a high message, I don't think they would respond. <laughs> but good luck with that if I wanted to do that. So guys, I'm going to end the video there. Please like and subscribe. And I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this video. And yeah, guys, bye bye. We just got to love FriendOS. It's just so awesome, isn't it? <laughs>